Well, I figure we're due for an update. So I got Haltech Elite 2500 I'm gonna install. This is the patch harness to go to the stock uh, Z32 harness. So take the ECU out real quick. Some cool things I did. I, I found some suede interior at one of our local junkyards, which is pretty sick. And then also real quick, Okay, spec is painted now and coming underneath here this is what i was really excited for my engine bay is nice and painted finally thank you to my friend jesse who helps run perfection auto collision in torrance so i towed the car up there a couple days ago or i i guess last week now and uh got that all done he took care of that real quick for me it took him like three days that was it and then see the front mount just peeking through there so that i'm not going to fully install but i just had to make the mounting brackets for it so everything is kind of coming together nice poor car has been sitting for so long the spoiler already sun faded and this rot is getting worse but i have a whole spare hatch so i'm not too worried about that right now but yeah i'm gonna install this ecu real quick as everybody knows z32 ecu is super easy to get to just pull down the passenger kick panel carpet this piece and then yank out this little wood piece once that's all out you can see this is my factory twin turbo manual ecu which i'll probably be keeping unless somebody really really needs it then you can all <laughs> try and hit me up on instagram i might sell the whole original turbo conversion um but i want to try to get every, get rid of everything together there's a couple people interested but no real uh permanent interest i guess so i'm gonna take this out real quick and then set the haltech in there and attach the patch harness okay now that i got the little 10 mils out that hold this a lot of people know this, but just in case you haven't seen this before, there's a little 10 mil, so don't just yank on this plug when you're trying to pull your ECU out. You need to take that little 10 mil out, and as you're unscrewing it, it'll actually pull the connector out on its own. Now that this thing is out, we can put the patch harness into the engine harness. So this big plug, I'll take this out. Basically when you run an Elite 2500, they are all the same. This is not a plug and play ECU. This is a full, I guess they're all full standalone, but this one is meant to work for any car you have. So you need an adapter harness and this piece is pretty much all that really changes. So this, you can see these pinouts go to the factory 300ZX harness there. And then and this will have three different plugs on this side, which go into the back of the patch harness. And then two plugs on this side that go into the ECU right here. Also worth noting that this kit from Haltech, like kind of hard to see it in there, this kit from Haltech, uh, this will work with an Elite 2000 or 2500, uh, maybe 1500, but don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure, but it also does come with an IAT sensor from Haltech. So you don't need to buy that separate. That comes with your patch harness if you're running the Elite Series ECUs. I decided to put these three connectors into the patch, I guess bulkhead, whatever you would want to call this, the four because the two bigger plugs are actually pretty difficult to get in. They're, they're just tight. It's not wrong or anything. They do feel really tight. It's the same every time we do a GTR, it's the same as well. So. I decided to do that, that way I wasn't really wrenching on the wires too much as I was putting this in. So now I'm going to connect this section of the harness to the factory engine and body harness, I guess. Now just like when we were pulling the factory ECU out, you want to make sure that you're not pushing on the plug. What you want to do is set it kind of close and start to thread this little bolt here by hand and that'll just make sure that your pins are all going in properly and you're not going to damage anything on the way in. So 
So now that this is all together, make sure you don't torque that down too hard. It doesn't have to be really tight, just enough to make sure your connections are good. But now that that's all plugged in, we can stick these two plugs into the ECU itself. I just had to put it down. It was a little difficult to get it to reach up there. So basically, two notches on this side, and then on the ECU, two notches are on the top. So this plug like that, then this plug will go, and that's it. That's how easy it is to install these Haltex. Super nice kits, all the wiring is loomed really nice. For now, I'm just gonna leave this all kind of sitting nice and loose in here because I'm not exactly sure how I wanna mount it yet. So I just wanna avoid damaging anything and I'm gonna put this on a little later, so I'll leave this in the back. For now, just cover all of this back up since nobody's gonna be in here anytime soon. Free hardware. Cover that back up and that's it. I wanna take this time to say a huge thank you to my good friend, Andrew Molina from Haltech for helping me out getting all these parts. Andrew's super cool. He owns uh, also Animal Auto. They do really good work over there. So if you're in the Inland Empire slash Corona, anywhere in Southern California, hit him up. He does really good work. So basically, now that we have a better time frame of when the car is gonna be finished up, I have my engine at the machine shop getting pissed into walled. And then once it comes back, we can assemble the engine, put that in, and then finish up all the little stuff, and we're good to go. Trying to make it to NISFest, which is October 8th. I don't think we should have any problem getting it there. But by the time it's there, I want it to be fully tuned and ready to go. Bumper fully mounted, obviously. Intercooler kit got to be done, obviously, to drive the car. But I'm excited, dude. I don't care really how much power it makes, but... I guess for all the effort, it'd be cool to make like 600, but we'll see. I ended up doing high compression pistons, so that's going to be kind of different. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. <laughs> It'll be on the E85 all the time though, so I think we'll be all right.